Hello Impact Youth. Very snowy today today and I'm sure a lot of you guys are really excited that you don't have to be in school. But no youth group tonight so kind of stinks. But as I woke up this morning there was a couple things that I really thought would be cool to share with you guys and maybe we can have a little interaction about this. <clears throat> it seems that this happens with a lot of people but particularly teenagers that you're living uh, totally separate lives. Like basically you have your school life where you act a certain way, where your friends expect you to act a certain way. Then you have home life. Your parents expect you to act a certain way and you would never talk around your parents the way you talk around your friends, right? Then you have youth group self. And there it's maybe a little bit more real than either of those places but still not the real you. Where are you, the real you? I mean, do you think that God created you to be three, four, five different people? You're the person with your girlfriend or boyfriend, and then you're the person when you go to small group and you're studying the Bible. I really believe, and I, I hope you do too, that God created you to be one person, the same person. And this, this got me thinking about James uh, one twenty two. It says, But don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you're only fooling yourselves. And I think that's what a lot of us are doing. We're fooling ourselves, thinking that, well, yeah, I'm living for God because you know some of the things he tells you to do. It says right here, you're fooling yourselves. You must do what it says. And that's really hard. This is not an easy task. And I was thinking, you know, that's a big task. Like, uh, how can I do what God says? Well, in Galatians 5, 22 through 24, which you've, you've heard this before probably, it's the fruit of the Spirit. Fruit is the evidence of your, of your life, like the evidence of whether you're really living a Christian life or not, whether you're living a life that God wants you to. The fruit of the Spirit is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now, I want to ask you, how many of these adjectives here describe you? Like if someone were to say, Jason is loving, he is peaceful and patient. Oh, it's, it's hard stuff, right? It goes on to say, those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature with its passions and desires. So, the question is, have you crucified your sinful nature? That is hard stuff. So what I thought to actually make this, bring this back home, make it a little more real to us all, is I have this little notebook here. Not sure if you can read that or not. Basically... You have, uh, I have love written there, and then love, and then how to go about loving people. So, uh, I put love, and then a little dash, and what it means. Okay, what I think it means. Love, care more about others than myself. And actions, not just words. How can I actually love? This is personal. Uh, listen better, think about how others are feeling, and not just how I'm feeling. Peace, you know, uh, not starting fights or arguments, but work to stop them. That would be peaceful. How can I do that? Not always have to win arguments, right? To not let my pride get in the way, to let my pride go. That's how I can be more peaceful. Now, I'm going to fill this whole thing out. And I was hoping for all you guys watching this video that you could take some time. You were going to take two hours tonight to go to youth group. Take some time. Write out the fruit of the Spirit, love, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, and write one or two ways, or more, how you're going to actually do that. How can you do that? It gets you thinking about your life, like, how can I live this out? So you're not being a totally different person in all the places you go. Instead, you're trying to be like Christ wherever you go. And that's my message for today. 
I'm hoping later we can have uh, maybe a chat room discuss some of the things you guys wrote in here. One very exciting announcement I have for all you guys is the Doughboys, baby. The Doughboys are going to be at Impact March 16th. The whole new music video and some pretty exciting stuff. So I just wanted to represent Doughboys.